wonderful day to discover and explore London from a bus. Yes, I welcome you all to the big bus today. You can hop on and hop off from the bus where you find the attraction spots. Do join me to enjoy the beautiful city view of London. Watching each attraction from the bus was spectacular. First in the list was the iconic London Eye. It's one of the most popular attractions in London. And it's not in our itinerary today. Let's skip it. It's time to hop off at our first location, Westminster, where you could find Big Ben and the Elizabeth Tower. Some facts about the Clock Tower, which is renamed as Elizabeth Tower and it is located in the north end of the Palace of Westminster. Big Ben is nothing but the largest bell among the tower's five bells which was constructed and completed in the year of 1859. The latest news of Big Ben is, after four years of restoration and renovation from 2017 to 2020, it was opened back to the public in 2021, ringing in of the new year. After exploring Big Ben, we are on the way to our next iconic attraction, Westminster Abbey. Westminster Abbey is one of the most significant and oldest buildings in the country, was formally identified and declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1987. For centuries, it has been used for many important purposes including coronations, royal weddings and as a final resting place for British monarchs and other renowned individuals. As I entered the building, I was awestruck looking at the marvelous, stunning Gothic architecture of the church. We started to explore the church walking down the side of the nave towards the front of the cathedral with the guided tour. Along the way, you'll pass many memorials and tombs, most notably in Scientist Corner where Darwin, Newton and Stephen Hawkins are honored. My gaze is drawn up the vast stone columns. The columns branch out at the top where ribbed vaulting supports the high ceiling. Why it is called Abbey and not Cathedral? It was started as a monastery by Benedictine monks and has always been linked with royalty. We kept walking through the choir to see the high altar. 
the spot where every king and queen of England is crowned. Since the 10th century, music has been the key part of tradition of worship. The choir is where the Abbey Choir sings for the daily choral services. Initially, the abbey was to serve as a resting place of all the kings of England. However, in its later years, anyone who could afford to be buried in the abbey was given a spot. Today, it contains the tombs of many renowned figures including Sir Isaac Newton, Geoffrey Chaucer, Stephen Hawking, George Frederick Candle, Charles Dickens and many more. We are entering Lady Chapel. It is a glorious example of late medieval architecture built by Henry VII, which is the burial place of 15 kings and queens including Elizabeth I, Mary I and Mary Queen of Scots. The next, we spotted the oldest door in the world. The Westminster Abbey has the surviving Anglo-Saxon door in the whole country, dating back to the year 1050. And this door was built from a single tree in Hainault and used as a warning to stop people from committing crimes. The last we see is the coronation chair that is used when British monarchs are crowned during the coronation. The chair was made in 1300 at the request of Edward. We end up our marvelous tour of Abbey and hopping off to our next iconic spot. We are at the Royal Buckingham Palace. The King's official London residence and working Royal Palace. We are here to watch Changing Guard ceremony. Unfortunately, it didn't happen on that day. We really missed it. Before heading to the palace, make sure the Changing Guard ceremony is happening or not. Unfortunately, even the palace is closed for public. We just had a glance from the gate and the surroundings.
and it was completely flooded with tourists. And it's time to hop on back to the bus to have some relaxed CV tour and some food at Oxford Street. Oxford Street is basically known for shopping. If you are a shopaholic, please do get on here. You have every brand, you name it. This circus is called as Piccadilly, brings bright bold billboards that will dazzle and delight. This area of London is always alive with entertainment and can be recognized by its fountain topped with statue of an archer. This place is compared to New York's Times Square but it's London's Times Square. Even if it's crowded, you will feel the vibe. We had a good meet and hopped on back to the bus for our next location, which runs across River Thames, which is nothing but Tower Bridge of London. This place is must in your itinerary and you can't miss being a tourist. We ended up visiting this place on all three days when we were in London. It had such a vibe to sit on the banks of River Thames and just watch people walking and the vibe of London. The construction of the Tower Bridge began on 22nd April of 1886. It was opened by Prince and Princess of Wales with great celebrations on 1894. It was opened to the public as an attraction for the first time since 1910. Tower Bridge turned 125 on 30th June of 2019 we had booked for the tour of tower you will get to explore the complete tower from the top and the history behind how it was built We were lucky to witness the opening of the bridge when ship passes beneath it.
the traffic is stopped on either sides when the bridge is opened for the ships to pass through. This is where you will find the complete road is separated into two halves and gets back to its original position and the traffic resumes back. We started our tour with a movie which tells you about the history behind the bridge. Who built it? How was it built? How many built it? And the engineering behind it. You would likely to experience the panoramic view in front of your eyes from the Tower Bridge. This was a special experience walking on a glass top with a view. We were lucky to watch the opening of the bridge twice, once from the top, other from the top of the bridge. Once the tour of tower is over, you are headed directly to the engine room where hydraulic pumps and the engines are kept. These are the old hydraulic pumps and engines kept for the public. The engine room ends with a souvenir shop where you could collect your souvenirs. We skipped visiting Tower of London. Here ends our beautiful relaxed big bus tour. Hope you would have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Catch you up with another interesting and informative video. Until then, it's bye from Kitchen Clicks by Mano with love.